<laughs> you would have hided the camera. monster now. Mm -hmm. Cookie monster. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, baby's okay. Charity's okay. I'm okay. But the cars behind us got fucked up. Ah! And there goes the car that was in the accident. Her entire front end was smashed in. What a cunt. Okay, so our door, of course, didn't shut before, but now it doesn't shut at all, and when you do shut it, it doesn't want to open. I had to kick it open. Uh, these doors don't shut, as you can see. There's still, there's an even bigger gap you can actually see inside the car. Especially when you close it, you can see it right there. And it's also on that side, too, where the car seat is for the baby. Um... Ah, oh, great, now this door doesn't want to open. Ah. Not the car. Ah, uh, the bumper's all bent up. The bumper is completely fucked on this side. Ah, uh, license plate, all this stuff is up now. There's a huge gap in between this. This is all fucked up. The spare tire is fine under there, but... The treads on the front tire are all gone. And like, even down here there's gaps and stuff. Fuck. Oh well. So, that's a lot to take in. Um, I'm, I'm fine. Trady's being checked out right now. Um, the baby's fine. But, what had happened was, we were driving um, in Fort Collins, and this truck in front of us, I was paying attention to the parking lot and I was looking there and I counted that there were six cop cars in this parking lot with all their lights on and everything. So I was like, oh, and I turned to Charity just to tell her, I'm like, hey, look, there was fucking um, six cop cars there. But right as I turned to tell her, she slammed on her brakes and then we got hit twice. And I started freaking out. Because I wanted to make sure that Avia was okay, because that's my priority. Um, and so, I got out of the car, and immediately, was I was just screaming, I was like, fuck, like, just pissed, because that's my car, but Charity was driving, and I was like, I am, you know, irritated, I'm shaking, I'm adrenaline pumping, and Charity thought I was getting out of the car to go yell at the person, but I got out of the car to make sure that my kid was okay. And so I grabbed her. The kid came over to us and was just like, you guys okay, whatever. He was he was really nice. Um, didn't catch his name, but they said that his birthday was tomorrow. So I'm like, oh, fuck, I feel so bad. But uh, what had happened was a car, the car, the truck in front of us slammed on their brakes because they were riding somebody's ass or whatever. And then Charity slammed on her brakes. And there was a good three, four feet in between us and that car. And then once Charity slammed on her brakes, like maybe half a second later, we got hit and then another fucking hit. So we got hit twice. And so what had happened was, like I said, car, us, and then we were like, all right. And then the car, two cars behind us, slammed into the back of the car behind us and completely totaled her front end. Her airbags went off and everything. And then that, he slammed into us, which caused, but she kept going forward. So then she slammed him into him again, slamming into us. So we got hit by him twice. Um, as you saw, the bumper and everything was all dented and everything. Uh, I was driving it and the suspension and the back's all kind of bent up and everything. You can definitely feel it when you're driving. It's really bumpy in the back. Um, as I was telling Charity, because uh, I made sure that I 
Char my mom came and got the baby in charity. And then I, we, we both went to the thing, got the baby checked out, and then I said, I'll drive the car home. I'm fine. I got checked out at the scene. I'm I'm okay, but Charity was complaining about her head hurting and her neck hurting and everything. I was like, you go get checked out with my mom. I'll drive the car back. And so I drove back, and then I was looking at everything. This, like I said, the, 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 the suspension's fucked up in the back at least um everything's kind of squished in because of the bumper uh like i said the treads on the car are gone in the front seat and it's just it's stressful because that's our main car and if that gets fucked up we can't go anywhere charity can't go to work i can't go to work like yes we have two cars we have the truck and we have the blazer but uh charity works am shifts i work pm shifts so a little bit of a leeway with that because Charity gets off a little bit before I go to work and so by the time Charity gets home I'm taking off to work so I have enough time to say goodbye and whatever and go to work but that truck sucks with gas it takes almost $60 to fill and uh, compared to the blazer the blazer only takes half but the truck eh, it depends on where you use it goes longer goes cheaper or whatever like, you, we, from here, we could drive to Colorado Springs and then drive back, but only have to fill up, like, once. Uh, but then, at the same time, with the Blazer, you could drive all the way to Colorado Springs and still be on half a tank. So, it's like, you know. But, now we got to figure all this shit out. Um, from what it was, it's probably not going to be our fault because they, we didn't hit the car in front of us, and the car in the way back, probably she got sent to the like she was pulled into the ambulance and everything we were there for a good 30 minutes while we we're trying to figure stuff out but um like i've seen accidents happen in front of me i've stopped before and helped people with that uh i was in an accident like fuck six almost six years seven years ago and um i was in the back seat when that happened we got slammed we got t-boned and i got a concussion there but i was never checked out because my family's are schmoles but um yeah i got a, i got a concussion from that and then just all this stuff happens now and it like i said it sucks because that's our main car and that's the car like the truck can't hold a car seat and then the two of us it can only hold a car seat and a person so and if we go anywhere we can't really drive around and stuff because like i said there's not enough room for everybody that's why we had the blazer i got the blazer fairly cheap but like yeah it has problems and stuff but it's easily to fix it's just a couple spark plugs or something but now there's a lot more to it and so <sighs> i'm just stressed out i don't know how i'm gonna deal with all this stuff my insurance and the crap i already get enough shit here at my house so it's like fuck and i wasn't driving but you know, what can you do? So, I'm going to go figure out everything that's happened with Charity. Hopefully she's okay. Hope the baby's fine, obviously, but I'm stressed. So...